It's so good to be here in South Carolina. We can accomplish everything here at this university. Here it is, the best opening in college football. How we doing? Good. Welcome back. Welcome into Gamecock football with Shane Beamer. The Gamecocks come on the road in Tuscaloosa. They come back from 14 down, scored 19 straight points, and were up in the fourth quarter over number seven Alabama, but fall late in the ball game in a hard fall ball game, 27-25. Coach, this one rips at everybody because we did not play last week. It did not impact the team at all. In fact, you guys came out and played as hard as I've seen uh, in a long, long time. But at the end of the day, it's almost got to be perfect in a venue like this, doesn't it? Yeah, I give Alabama credit. They made more plays than we did at the end. But really proud of our guys, Todd, and the way they fought and battled today. But it was no surprise. That's who we are. And we had a disappointing performance last week. But our guys, like always, they come right back to work. and. And uh, the way we <clears throat> performed today and competed today, it's not a surprise. It's a, well, we knew we would because of who we are. And I just, I hurt for our players because they put so much into it and, and uh, want them to have a better feeling in that locker room. But when you're on the SC, in the SEC and you're on the road, it's a fine line and uh, you can't turn the ball over. And when you have opportunities to make plays, you got to make them or you're going to have the sick feeling that we have right now. Strange at the end of both halves, Coach. Let's talk about that. With 138 to go in the first, we scored 12 straight points. In fact, the intentional grounding is a safety and come back and make the play to Bennett, Bennett, or Bennett on fourth down. That's the first one. And then talk about the end of the ball game as well. The execution there, the onside kick. Take me through that. Yeah, it was a lot of situational football today, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, Great play at the end of the half by Jalen getting an interception and giving us a chance to get points right there. Great job, Alex, coming in to, to uh, knock it through for three. And then into the game, obviously credit, you know, proud of Lenoris and our offense. They basically executed two two-minute drives against a really good defense on the road in a hostile environment. Scored a touchdown. Uh, we were talking, look, obviously we're going to have to go for two. I told Joe DeCamillis before that drive even started, obviously if we don't get the two-point conversion, be coaching up the onside kick team because we're going to have to kick an onside kick. And um, you know, everything happened like we thought it would. Um, recovered the onside kick. And then once we did that, I think everybody thought we were going to win the football game. And all we needed to do was get 15 to 20 yards to be in field goal position. And in the end, we just weren't, um, just didn't get it done. Yeah, the Gamecocks fall. Can I convert and fall by two points to number seven, Alabama and Tuscaloosa? We go to three and three on the season. Coach, on our Prisma Health Injury Report, I know we didn't bring Jared Brown with us on the trip and Jules has been hurt as well. How'd we do today? I think well, um, physical football game, two really good SEC teams and I think we came out of it in pretty good shape. It was hard hitting on that field today. We'll see some of that in our highlights when we come back on Gamecock Football with Shane Beamer from Learfield. Britons of Columbia dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Hey Gamecocks, it's Coach Beamer. Welcome to the Prisma Health Sports Medicine Center. Let's take a look. Inside the Prisma Health Sports Medicine Center, we've got everything to ensure that our players are as healthy as possible when they step on the field. Along with our athletic training staff, we have Prisma Health doctors in here every day caring for our guys and making sure they are ready to return to play. To learn more about Prisma Health and how you can get this same level of elite care, visit prismahealth.org slash Gamecocks.
What does farm to table mean to you? Fresher, tastier food? Sitting down with family and friends at local restaurants? Sure, but thanks to South Carolina farmers and chefs, you can enjoy farm to table anywhere. That's because when you buy certified SC, you're supporting South Carolina farmers and getting locally grown food that's perfect for whatever table. So choose local, choose fresh. It's a matter of taste. Southern Way Catering is the official partner of South Carolina Athletics for special events in williams Bryce Stadium. Book your next event with Southern Way and experience unparalleled hospitality. To tour one of our new premium spaces, call 803-783-1061 or visit the website at thesouthernway.com. Uh, one of the great venues in college football in Tuscaloosa, Alabama to take on Alabama, all the tradition, perfect environment. Game started in the 70s, coach, and you got the coin toss. You won that, deferred to the second half, and your defense comes out right away. Yeah, beautiful day for football and a great environment here in Tuscaloosa. And, uh, if, we, if we got the coin toss, we were going to defer. Jalen Milrow and the spread offense that Alabama has is always difficult. Yeah, they, they are right here on this one. Um, you know, kind of loose coverage right there and got to do a better job getting that guy on the ground. Uh, wanted to be a little bit more aggressive with the coverage than that, but we ended up getting him on the ground right there as well. First and 10 play, uh, not much pass rush right there. He got out of the pocket. And, and one of the things that we really emphasize this week, Tom, is when he gets out of the pocket, we got to do a great job of latching on the people and finding them in our zones. And we didn't do a great job of that one. And then he was able to run the ball in right there on a little zone read. And, we got to be uh, better there in space than we were on that one. They had two pass plays of 30 yards on that drive. That was kind of the difference. Yep, right there for us, a third and two. We got a little RPO quarterback draw type situation. Um, don't know how we didn't block this one. We got a, we brought nine guys. We got a low snap. Um, you know, got to execute on those. So we had a chance to block a punt. But great job of our defense right there. We gave them a first down on the rough and the punter. Uh, great job by, right there by Kyle Canard coming in there. One of our uh, four sacks, I think, in the first half. Mm -hmm. Got a drive moving right here offensively. You know, second and eight, good protection. Throw the ball in the knee to Mike Smith. Or excuse me, that's, uh, uh, yeah, that's Mike Smith. Uh, another freshman continuing to make plays for us. Third down and three situation. Give up a sack, which is disappointing. In there where you're kind of in area where you, it, do you punt, do you field goal? We're out of field goal range. Thought we had a chance. They brought pressure. We checked to it. and and uh, gave up a little bit, or didn't get the first down. Here, another job, our guys flying to the ball and, and getting Milrow on the ground. Backed up situation, disappointing there. We got a little TE twist that we got, it's day one stuff that we got to pick up. And, and uh, nice job of Lenore. Thought we had a chance right there to hit a 90 yard touchdown pass and, and weren't able to get it done. Uh, Milrow keeps it right here. He was going to get his plays, but we didn't need to let him get in a rhythm. That was one of the keys for us first and goal type situation, uh, and then they punch it in. But we told our offense, look, we get the ball to start the second half. So this is a critical drive coming up to be able to go down here and get points um, and then go into the half in a game and uh, get the ball to start the second half. So fourth and nine, decided to go for it. You know, felt good about the call, great protection, a little bit of a double move type play out there. I think we caught him in two deep coverage. Nice play by Lenore Samazio. Now it's 14-7. And we're right where we need to be. Get some pressure on him. We get the, we get the safety. There's two points. Now the offense gets the ball right back, has a chance to go down the field, and uh, thought this was going to be an incomplete pass. They said he started to throw it, and then he brought it back down, and that's when the ball came out, and that's why it was a fumble. But we get them in a situation where uh, thought they were going to go to the half. We didn't call a timeout here, I don't think, in this situation. Uh, get him on the ground. We thought about calling a timeout here, but we just said, you know, let's see how they want to play this thing. Felt good about going to the half 14-9. They decided to take a, take a shot. And then a uh, big time play right there by Jalen Kilgore and uh, running downfield. And, and <laughs> I'm glad he got ran out of bounds right there. <laughs> Left one second on the clock and, and we go into the half with a lot of momentum right there down two points. Yeah, Herrera comes in, kicks the field goal. And we scored 12 straight points against Alabama, and you're right back in it, which yeah. is, you talked to us on Thursday night, all you want in these environments is to be in the ball game in the second half, and yeah. you certainly were. Absolutely, went into the half with uh, momentum, energy, and that's all we talked about. I knew the first quarter was gonna be critical. Wasn't pretty, but we hung in there through the first quarter. Now we got a ball game, and we go into the half. We're right where we need to be. 
Uh, we knew we needed to finish drives better on third down. And, uh, and, and we were in for a four quarter war and told the offense, you're up first. And they come out here to start the second half with a great drive. I think we took up seven minutes off the clock right here. Yeah, let's go to the second half now. Maybe one of the best drives on Gamecock offense in quite some time. It goes 16 plays and 85 yards, but a lot of guys making plays all over the field. Yeah, a lot of guys making plays. You see Lenoris running right there for a first down and getting positive yardage right there as well. Um, and then we get a third and long situation and big time throw right there to, uh, to convert that on third down as well. We needed to be better on third down and we converted a bunch of them on, uh, on this drive. A little shovel play that we put in uh, uh, in this game that was a good for us right there on that one. And then just the old school power play with four tight ends in the game and turned the guy free right there, but uh, running back's got to run that guy over and get him in, which is what he did. Uh, disappointed here, nice job by their guy. Thought he was on the ground, he got up and <clears throat> was able to run for, for positive yardage, but we're up five and we, we've eaten up half the third quarter right there as well. They're in a third and long situation on that one. Good play or good coverage by Kilgore. Uh, over there on the sideline. We're back on offense, third down and five. We go three and out right there. Got to punt it back to them uh, as well. A uh, little throwback right here that they were trying and dumped it out to the flat. We should have somebody there. They leaked the back out late, gave up a first down. Good job by JT Gear getting him on the ground. They, they have a drive going right here as well. We bring a little bit of pressure. And then back there in the end zone, what a play by uh, O'Donnell right there as well to stop their drive. Now we're into the fourth quarter. We're up five. Now we got to go finish this thing. That's the whole key for us on um, on that one. After we got that, after we got that interception here on that one, they got a drive going. Uh, get it down right here, second or first and goal, and then he's able to run it in right here as well. We got to be better about getting off blocks. That's not very good right there in that situation. Uh, knew this two point play was going to be a uh, a big uh, big situation right here as well to keep it a one point game or a field goal wins it. Uh, then we got to come back out here and get going on offense. Good to see Rocket get going as well and have some explosive runs today. We ran the ball well today for the most part, you know, um, moving forward and carrying and falling forward uh, with the pile as well. A little sprint out type situation. Wanted to get Lenoris on the move some more. First down right there as well. Um, wish we could have been a little bit better on that third down and get Alex a little bit closer, but um, missed the field goal, but still a one point game. We knew we needed to get a stop defensively. Uh, miss a sack right here and allow him to, to scramble for a, for a first down right there, I believe. Third and 10 situation, we bring a little bit of pressure. We're in man-free coverage. We can't turn a, turn a guy completely free like that. But we, if they, we sit it all along, they score a touchdown, we're in a one-score game. And um, no, I told Lenore on the sideline, bud, you got a two-minute drive against the University of Alabama in front of 100,000 people. You know, what an opportunity for you right here. And so proud of him, the way he led us down the field. Um, wanted to take shots today, and we saw Nick Harbor out there with one-on-one -on -one coverage, and that's what that guy can do. So great concentration, great catch. Knew we needed to go for two. Um, thought we had an opportunity right here. We, we, we give up a little bit more penetration, or otherwise I think we're going to have a play right there as well. But it's not over. we got to go recover an onside kick. And uh, great job right there by Colin Bryant recovering that ball for us and giving us an opportunity. We needed about 20 yards to get in field goal range. Saw coverage out there that we saw we had a shot and we were able to tell him in the headphones, look to that guy and and um, just didn't quite finish the play like we needed to finish it. Wow, just watching the highlights back, coach, it shows you everything that could happen in a ball game. Happened really at the end of both of those halves. Just came up a little short. Your redshirt freshman quarterback, it's hard to fault him for a whole lot. He was uh, 23 of 31, had a touchdown. He did have a couple of fumbles, Coach, as well. And I know you emphasize to them all the time about protecting the football. Yeah. Um, got to emphasize it more clearly. Uh, we're putting the ball on the ground too much and got to continue to emphasize it better than what we are. Uh, the Gamecocks fall, two points, 27-25. Coach, we've got a couple candidates for our Terminex best player of the game. O'Donnell Fortune had nine tackles, tackle for a loss and the interception. Rocket, one of his more balanced game with four catches, nine rushes. Your thoughts on our Terminex best player of the game? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of really good individual performances out there uh, today for sure, but you know, we felt like O'Donnell Fortune, the turnovers and the plays he made on the perimeter tackling, thought he did a lot of really good stuff for us today. Congratulations, O'Donnell. Gamecocks will head back 
on the road next week uh, to take on Oklahoma fall today in Tuscaloosa. We'll be back after this on Gamecock Football with Shane Beamer from Learfield. Join us every Thursday at Backstreet's Grill on Divine Street for Carolina Calls from 6 to 7 p.m. Visit BackstreetsGrill.com to learn more about their unique food and drink options. It's Truck Month at your Carolina Ford dealers. Get great offers on a large selection of Ford F-150 trucks with available smart tech like Ford Blue Cruise, the hands-free highway driver assist feature named Consumer Reports' top-rated active driving assistance system two years in a row. Tough this smart can only be found here during Ford Truck Month. Get up to $10,250 in total savings plus three years of Ford Blue Cruise on a 2024 Ford F-150 XLT Hybrid. They say home is where the heart is, and that's never been more true than it is right here, right now. And it's why we're proud to partner with Colonial Life. Colonial Life reminds us to stand together no matter what, and to lift each other up, both in support and celebration. So if you're a Colonial Life policyholder, business owner, community partner, or a fellow fan, thank you, because you make this house a home. What does farm to table mean to you? Fresher, tastier food? Sitting down with family and friends at local restaurants? Sure, but thanks to South Carolina farmers and chefs, you can enjoy farm to table anywhere. That's because when you buy certified SC, you're supporting South Carolina farmers and getting locally grown food that's perfect for whatever table. So choose local, choose fresh. It's a matter of taste. You've never been afraid to put in the work. The extra early, extra late, extra, extra work. Because you understand that education is the key that unlocks everything. Better pay, better hours, better opportunities, a better you. And playing the lottery is no different. Getting educated before you play gives you the tools you need to be a better player, like knowing when to play and when to take a rain check. Visit sceducationlottery.com slash better you to be a better player. Wherever you go, whatever you do, when you have the power and technology of a Ford F-150 on your team, it's game on. For great offers or to learn more about F-150, go to buyfordnow.com and see your Carolina Ford dealer, official partner of Gamecock Athletics. It's always great to get with our guys, Patrick DeMarco and Steven Garcia on tailgate talks. We thought you might want to see a part of their episode this past week where they deal with Gamecock great and NFL veteran Darian Stewart. Hey, D. Stu, man, we got a uh, we got a quick little fan question, man. Um, Dan Hadam wants to know what's your favorite non-football moment while at Carolina. Favorite non? Oh man, the the parties. <laughs> <laughs> the there parties, no uh, fun party like the like us. I man. agree. We we played hard, but we partied hard. Oh man, it was good times, dog. Like all us together, it it, it was never a dull moment. You know, we even just being in the quads together. And one of the culprits, that guy sitting right there. Yeah. Like, we talked about it a bunch on here, but Stephen was the glue that made sure everybody was invited to every party. That we we're all social, all intertwining. For over 40 years, Sound & Images has been South Carolina's corporate multimedia partner for live events. Sound & Images is also your resource for commercial audiovisual installations. Help your teams collaborate more efficiently with a custom-crafted AV solution from Sound & Images. Whether you want a single monitor upgrade or a turnkey AV system, we are dedicated to helping you incorporate easy-to-use technology into your space. And we offer the best-in-class support and service. Elevate your AV. Call Sound & Images today.
Hey Gamecock Nation, Coach Shane Beamer here. Experience the most electrifying entrance in all of college football as Cocky's Game Day Guest. Presented by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get two tickets to the Missouri game, two pregame sideline passes, plus hotel accommodations and more. Visit usccontest.com and enter today for your chance to be Cocky's Game Day Guest. Brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. South Carolina. Sellers on fourth down with time. Gonna take a strike to the end zone and a touchdown scored by Bennett. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Mazio Bennett and Sellers. It's starting to be a duo that hooks up a lot. 36 yard touchdown. It got you going, coach. You were down 14 at the time. Yeah. A big play on fourth down. Yeah, needed a play, needed to be aggressive. We're in that situation where you really don't gain a whole lot from a punt. You're kind of, you're basically out of field goal range. So we felt good about the call and felt good about our defense if we didn't get it, being able to go out there and get a stop and good protection, more kind of a double move and and a really good play by uh, Lenore, Spazio, and the rest of the offense. That was part of the scoring that the Gamecocks went on 19 straight. Uh, scoring points against Alabama. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Hey, we all know family is really about Gamecock football. We thought you might want to visit with some of the parents of our players who entrust the Gamecock football program with their sons. Hi, I'm Melanie Doty. My name is Octavia Shivers. Hi, Tony Reno, Dante Reno's mom. Hi, I'm Melissa Thompson. Oh, Robert Thompson. Hey, I'm Ladere Sterling. I'm Blake Franks' mother. From the time that they recruited us and, you know, when we got here, we've, we've seen nothing but the same. And, I mean, I still talk to the coaches. I still send little funny emails to Weezy from time to time about saying good morning. In fact, um, for spring break, he didn't even want to come home. And I'm like, son, are you coming? And he was like, maybe tomorrow. This place here is wonderful. The fan the fan base here is unbelievable. It's, it's like none and other that I've seen. And what Coach Beamer is doing here with this program is amazing. His culture is by far one of the best in the SEC. Of course, it was a lovely atmosphere. Family oriented all the way around from Coach Beamer, his family. And to get that from the head football coach, my son is in the right place. He's bringing in good people all around him, and it's what he's been doing since day one. You are in an amazing place. You're going to be bringing your son to a, an incredible program, one that you're going to be so proud of, um, one where he will thrive, one where he's going to be successful, and one where he'll be challenged as well. Yeah, as a father, I feel great for my son being here. They keep us in the loop with what's going on. I feel like he's in good hands. Dave absolutely loves Columbia. Absolutely loves it. Loves his dorm, loves the people, loves the community. Coach Beamer has put so much into making a culture where these boys can thrive. They come in as boys and they're leaving as young men. It's something about this place It's just fabulous and I have to tell all the recruits that, you know, it's, it's just great and it doesn't change. I can't have dreamed for him to have been somewhere else. There's no other place I'd rather see him be. If the Gamecocks record 350 yards or more on offense, go to the notifications on the Gamecock Game Day app to learn how to receive a free three-piece chicken tenders with any purchase from Hardee's after regular breakfast hours at Columbia and Orangeburg participating locations on Monday. You've never been afraid to put in the work. The extra early, extra late, extra, extra work. Because you understand that education is the key that unlocks everything. Better pay, better hours, better opportunities, a better you. And playing the lottery is no different. Getting educated before you play gives you the tools you need to be a better player, like knowing when to play and when to take a rain check. Visit sceducationlottery.com slash better you to be a better player. 
For over 40 years, Sound & Images has been South Carolina's corporate multimedia partner for live events. Sound & Images is also your resource for commercial audiovisual installations. Help your teams collaborate more efficiently with a custom-crafted AV solution from Sound & Images. Whether you want a single monitor upgrade or a turnkey AV system, we are dedicated to helping you incorporate easy-to-use technology into your space. And we offer the best-in-class support and service. Elevate your AV. Call Sound & Images today. Dog from the groomer, get the laundry, and you finish the book for book club, right? <gasps> book club? Of course I did. Yep. See you there, honey. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. But the good physician of the Republic would deserve better still. Satan, now my doctor. Satan. When you have 537 pages to go, there's a RAV for that. Right now, lease a new 2024 Toyota RAV4 Hybrid LE for just $3.59 a month for 36 months. Toyota, let's go places. They say home is where the heart is, and that's never been more true than it is right here, right now. And it's why we're proud to partner with Colonial Life. Colonial Life reminds us to stand together no matter what and to lift each other up both in support and celebration. So if you're a Colonial Life policyholder, business owner, community partner, or a fellow fan, thank you, because you make this house a home. Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Coach, no rest for the weary. Uh, we go on the road next week again to Oklahoma, a program you're very familiar with. Top 20 football team. Um, what's it going to take our Toyota keys to the game to play well in that and to come out of this one with a good attitude going forward? Yeah, I got to learn from this one and pick ourselves up and get ready to go compete again. That's just that's uh, life in this conference. There's no uh, breathers. Uh, but we're, our guys are going to be excited about going to play another historic program. We played one today. Uh, this is one of the all-time great programs in college football and a place that I'm familiar with. So I'm excited to get back to Norman and going up against a really good team, another uh, dominant defense. And, and I know they're playing an athletic quarterback right now, so good football team. It'll be a big challenge, but I'm excited about our guys and, and being even better next week than what we were today. Carolina 3-3. Three and three. Now we've lost two top 15 games by a total of four points on the season. That's what makes it tough on all of us. We're going to get back to Columbia, go back to work, and take on the Sooners next weekend. Thanks for being with us on Gamecock Football with Coach Beamer from Learfield. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.